What is going on guys and girls welcome back to Crusade the Kings 2 Game of Thrones during the Andal Invasion where we play as King Humphrey the Oppressor and we've just returned from our great raid of Lys. So much gold, so much prestige. Uh, it's actually more than that because of ransoms and you know uh, slave money I guess that we've made. Uh, but yeah obviously I spent some time in between episodes just so we could get back home. Now the reason we're back home specifically is because the northern king Damon the ugly has uh, a claim on our lordship so we need to be a little bit careful on how we maneuver now because uh, there's 11,000 men that could become problematic here now actually look at this he's getting 4,000 from our vassals which we do as well right actually not many uh, not anymore wait no 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 okay still so we get 4,000 men from Gouldtown, and then we could technically, well, it only says 3,600 now. We should have more, but winter is kind of an issue. Uh, that's actually reducing our levies, I think, right? Or maybe not. I don't know. Well, one thing I want to do is I want to build up a large uh, a, pi uh, a pirate fortress. But at the moment, because of winter, we have extra build costs. I actually want to wait for winter to be over, because then we're actually going to be faster in building this as well. So, for now, we've just returned our, yeah, priest Oswald died, who was actually married to our mother. Maybe giving her a little bit of happiness in her life after our sister died uh, from being blinded. Um, so, yeah, we need a new one, and I don't have one. So, let's, I guess, employ a courtier. Uh, a priest is what we need. Morton. He seems fine. Excellent. All right. And Morton, 27 years young. He will be our new priest. Awesome. Okay. So we'll wait a little bit. Do we want to wait? I don't know. Maybe we want to attack the marshes here. The Lysini pirate lord here could be attacked. For that, I would have to stand down my troops. Uh, hmm... Hmm. <laughs> we could get rid of the pirate. Actually, can I attack this even? I probably can do a pirate invasion here. I'm pretty sure. Maybe we should, just so we can uh, go ahead and. Hmm. We could also raid. We could also raid the Wolfston. You know what? Hold on. I want to raid the Wolfston just now because I want the Starks to know that they shouldn't be messing with us. They they may have already forgotten. That we had, we have won a war against them before. Ben, I think it was Ben the Downcast. Yeah, actually his father died in our father's dungeon. So I don't know if Damon needs a reminder of that. Apparently so. But yeah, we will remind him. So we're going to raid the wolves then. There we go. Now, and, ooh, interesting. So if someone wants to buy Nisola. I'm going to go for, since she's fashionable, Right? I'm gonna go for 75 gold. She is relatively old already, but still. We're gonna go for 75. If they say no, that's fine. That's fine by me, but uh, that will... Well, that reminds me that I should probably update this here. Demina Shet. She's she's a pirate sympathizer. Interesting. But yeah, she can't be banished. She can't... Because she's not a prisoner, right? So, okay. Now, Randa, you will be sold. I'll take anything I can get for her, to be honest. Yes, I'll take 15 gold, that's great. And then, um, Nasola, let's see, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll sell her for 40 if I get the chance, but not for 15. Nah, all right. Then you will, will sell for like no less than 75. That's for certain. Yeah, okay, nobody wants you. Alright, fine, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, cool. Yeah, so we'll be sieging this. We actually have enough men to sack the Wolfston, which maybe we should. And uh, Osmeria, a favorite concubine who's given uh, birth to many sons. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what she can give birth to now. Uh, how old is uh, Tristan? Six years. Okay, so there's still some time before he's sent to the temple. But yeah, we have to remind the Starks of our power. Because they seemingly have forgotten. That's not good. Okay, so they're raising their men now. Congratulations. 
I hope you will enjoy. But we're actually done raiding. I don't know if I really want to sack this. Do I want to sack it? Hmm. White Harbor could be sacked. Oh my god, that would be probably be a lot of gold. Uh, I guess we'll just stay here for now. We've got 2,000 gold. I definitely want to put that to work. And the Sola seeks to escape. Well, she'll end her plot. Yeah, she knows it's a futile attempt. Maybe she should be lashed, though. Yeah, have the guards bring her up from her quarters. Yeah, she should be lashed. There you go. Um, She's tied to a post, and our guards begin to beat her as you count out 39 lashes. When it's done, they release the bindings. The Sola manages to keep her footing, obviously in pain, but with no particularly dangerous damage. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's just as an example that you should not try to escape, right? We don't like that. We don't like that at all. Okay, we've got another 35 gold taken from the wolf's den here. I definitely don't want to have a straight up battle with um, the Starks. Army of Lord Tybalt. Yeah, so we're going to run away. Not because we're scared, just because there's no need to fight. Um, I have made them raise their levies in winter. I think that's uh, it's actually worth a lot. We're going to go to Greyhold now. The Gulf of Car, which is a really cool name. Uh, on the meantime, we're attacking some merchant vessels and uh, doing a good job there. Extra 20 gold. I love that. And we'll siege for another 20 gold, or rather raid. I don't think their men are ready here yet. We could actually go for some uh, hit and run and destroy like this little army, but I don't really want to. Vardis is becoming a poor fighter. Very good. So we're apparently teaching him a thing or two. Awesome. And yeah, look at this. Rialta is being educated by Runnel. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So, now, Inesa or Mullen, your guards seek your audience. They are all covered in blood, and with them they have your concubine in chains. A band of armed men secretly broke into the castle to try and set her free. All but one were slain by the guards, and this last one revealed under questioning that they were sent by Master Mary Marillo or Mullen. Yeah, he was in that dungeon, I'm pretty certain. Now, take the captive back to her quarters, it's not her fault. Put her in a secure cell. We could imprison her. Qu question the prisoner closely. Make her wish she didn't. I mean, no, I think it's not her fault. I think she knows what we do. Um, and that was definitely, clearly, not her fault, so. It's all good. We're a cruel man, but we're not like, you know, we're not insane. So yeah, actually, I need to keep uh, watch on here, otherwise we'll get attacked by the Starks. Which is something I obviously don't want to happen. Should I sack this? I mean, you know what, we can stay here for a little bit. Why not, right? Because are there other places with good gold? Not really. Most of them are relatively well protected. Well, 9 and 10 gold, I, mean, I could take that. I mean, there's really no point in staying here. I'm not going to sack it. I won't have the time. And yeah, a new son has been born, Brian. I'll take it. And Brian, I don't even know what... I mean, we have so many children. You have the struggle focus. Wait. Creighton, duty focus. You'll get the thrift focus, Brian. Right? There you go. That's cool. Probably... Hmm... Who could be your guardian? Someone who's good at stewardship as well. Maybe our wife, actually. Yeah, there you go. And then let's go to the Sea of Sorrow. Brian is feeble. Well, hopefully he'll not die. That'd be good. And to Martlet Bay. Oh no. Gorgon Whitewall was imprisoned by the Muds. So they're reconquering um, some of their lost lands. Alright. Fair enough. We'll see. Hopefully he'll survive. Because his child, his son, and heir was imprisoned too. We'll see how he does. Oh. Okay, so our son has been saved. That's good. And we've actually just taken some huge casualties here in Overton. Wow, we lost like 400 men. 
many of the besieging soldiers are being attacked. And Dennett Breakwater has declared a war for Lady Cyrovel's claim on the fingers. Wow, rising up against uh, the Corbrys. Interesting. And there's a peasant revolt that's declaring a war as well. Sunrise Keep peasant revolt. Really? That's strange. The peasants and the Lord rising up simultaneously. Yeah, we've lost another hundred men here. Man, this is um, this is unfortunate. Okay, the Starks are raising their men again, as do the Boltons. All right, well we'll go here, and this is ha keeps happening. I guess it's not her that needs a lesson. I think it's that guy. We might might have to raid Lace again. Another extra twelve gold. Very cool. Very cool. We might actually have enough money. As soon as this winter is over, to both start the uh, colonization of Bravos and build up our pirate fortress. And the Merciless, an enormous flagship by the Boral Fleet. Wow. That is so cool. A Dromund with over 700 oars. A huge sail. Damn. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe we will have to build a bigger flagship as well. So we have the big sister. But this is only, um, you know, a I think like regular flagship. I think we need something larger than that. But alright. We'll continue raiding here. I think once that is done, we'll return home. That should be enough of a lesson for the Starks here. Not to mess with us. Okay. Yep, unsuccessful attempt. And there is troops coming, but we have raided what we could. I think, yeah, that's fine. Um... I mean, this is not to be underestimated. It's another 70 gold, right? Shouldn't forget about that. That's still pretty good. Okay, now, a former Summer Islander magistrate has offered to tutor my ward for a price. Away with you. He could make her... We lose 50 gold. And Rylene could become diligent or greedy. Ah, uh, what? No. What the hell? Away with you. <laughs> Yeah, we're not going to pay anything. Sure. And I think on that note, we'll stand down our fleet. I probably shouldn't have stood down the fleet. We'll stand down our troops. And um, we'll see if we can declare war here to invade the marshes of the pirate, pirate lord. Yep. Pirate invasion of the Sweetwater. We'll go for that. Just so we can start uh, taking uh, colonizing Bravos. That's the plan. Okay. We'll raise... Probably just Ronalds. Actually, nah, we'll raise all of our troops, all of our fleets. And all of you guys get on the ships. You can't, that's unfortunate. So we'll get all of you together in Ghoul Town. And then we'll move over there and destroy them. Take the sweet water for ourselves. Look at the peasants. So this is kind of problematic. Your keep is being besieged right as you declare the war. Anyway, my mother has been mourning the loss of her late husband to stop this and to marry someone. Let her, we'll let her grieve in peace, you know what? That's fine. She's 70 years old though, that's actually kind of impressive. Alright, 4,000 men, this should be enough. Roba, this should be Ronald leading, thank you. Get our ships together too, and we'll make our way to the sweet water. Cool. Are we still wounded, by the way? We are. Damn, this is a long-ass wound. Holy hell. Benefer Grafton died. Oh, come on. I was actually gonna go ahead and duel him again, but now he just died. Just like that. Alright. Well, that's fine by me. So we're gonna land. It's gonna take some, uh, gonna take some damage for the amphibious landing, but it doesn't matter. We're just running them down immediately. Wow. Right. Okay, and there's Viren. Of the marshes, a genius. His dual skill is only 30. I know I shouldn't really like check that, but like I guess what we see is like an old man, maybe an aggressive man coming at us, and we're brave, even though we're wounded, we should win as well. So yeah. Oh, he's just running away anyway. Okay, cool. What a coward. Cool. So that was relatively easy. Uh, we won. We'll siege this quick, and that should be the end of the war as well. Now, yeah. <laughs> Do we want to have a? Goal. Maybe we'll do that. 
Um, take his skull? You know what? Sure. We'll take Benefer Grafton's skull. Yeah, the last swing of the cleaver, his ugly head is removed, and we have Benefer's skull as a trophy. Sure, why not? I'll take it. As one stares into the empty sockets of this decidedly human skull, it is not uncommon to experience both fascination and revulsion. It is a reminder of our impending death, and for some, a satisfying deed. Okay. Well, anyway. Our wound is finally over. Okay, maybe we just needed the skull of our enemy in our, in our treasury to know that uh, we're healed. Alright. It was maybe an emotional thing. I don't know. Okay. Now, on the solar, you're 41... Oh, you're with child. Oh, now that's gonna drive up the price. Yeah. Because this is another slave born. So, this is quite well valuable. And it shows that she's still capable of giving birth. Um, that's a big deal. Alright, now. This pirate lord, the entire family is gone. I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm not sorry. <laughs> but let's see. First of all... You'll be able to ransom yourself for the 70 gold. We'll, we'll let you do that first. Obviously, I want your money. If I can get it. And then... Let's see. Worth 26 gold. 26. 10. 26. How old is this kid? Zoro. 9 years old? Alright. And... Yeah, I guess... The nine-year-old for 26 gold. That's pretty good. How much more? You can sell... You can ransom one more. I'll... I'll have you... I'll have you ransom this child, too. Alright. Now. Yeah, Lion Coldwater has been born. Okay. Valuable slave, indeed. And she will be taught etiquette. Of course. And, um... Yeah. Not too bad. Okay, so you shouldn't have any more gold now. Actually, hold on. There you go. So you paid the ransom. He's got no more gold. So, um, we've got Relero, he who will be enslaved, and he will be breeding with Demina Shet. There you go. And she looks hesitant, but that works. Both of them. All right. Cool. So we've got more breed breeding slaves going on, giving us more money as well. And then we've got you. Actually, you'll be just sold into slavery right there. I'll take any gold I can get. She's relatively old. Alright, nobody wants her. That's fine. And um, then we'll just enslave you. And what about Kazar? You'll be sold as well. I'll take anything, really. Uh, sure. Sure, that's fine. And we'll end the war. There you go. So, we've won. We've taken the marshes. Oh! Wait, hold on. We should still be able to colonize now, though, right? Yes, we are. Perfect. Okay, good. So this guy... I keep forgetting about this. I thought we would actually get... Um... I thought we would actually get the thing. You know what I mean? Like the county? I keep forgetting that that's not the case. Alright, we'll get back onto our boats. Maybe I shouldn't be- I shouldn't have been that harsh to hit this guy then. Alright. Yeah, so he hates me. That's fine. We can duel him. Arrange a marriage. Maybe one of our concubines. Maybe we are the old? This is... Hmm. The Saria. Nah, he doesn't. Oh, okay. He doesn't consider our offers fine. So we'll go back home. Actually, we need to be in friendly lands. We should probably be able to start raiding from up here. Right. So let's do that. Uh, let's get back onto the boats. Where are we going to go next? Maybe Lorath. That's actually not too much to be taken. Oh, but it should be easily sackable. You know what? Fine, let's sack some Lorath. Why not? But not in today's episode. That was it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I will see you guys next time.